Welcome back on board Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. In my last video, I took you on a full cabin tour of an extra large sea terrace cabin on board. That room boasts an additional 30% living space to that of its standard balcony cabin rival. If you haven't seen that video yet, then head over to my channel, check it out and let me know down in the comments if you would rather stay in that cabin or the one that I'm going to show you in this video today. Today I'm giving you a tour of a standard balcony cabin on board, which Virgin call a sea terrace cabin. If you do find this video useful, and if you enjoy it, it would be amazing if you would consider supporting my channel by clicking the thumbs up button, and why not click subscribe, it's totally free to do, and really helps my channel to grow. Anyway, we're now on board and we are up on deck number nine of the ship, to check out cabin number 9198Z. You can see that when we go in, this cabin is really bright, really airy, and is entirely different to the extra large cabin that I showed you in my last video from a layout perspective. First up, you've got your workstation on the left hand side, which we'll come back to, and then you've got your bed. The bed in this cabin is currently set up as a double. This could be arranged as a twin, and the way that Virgin set up their twin cabins is an L shape rather than two single beds coming out from the wall. That explains why over this side you have what looks like a bedside table and over here you have a flat desk like area which is where the second single bed would come out from. You then got an armchair on the right hand side and this here is just a presentation tray so that's absolutely not fixed there at all. You've got the TV at the foot of the bed and over here, you've got your two-tone backlit LED mirror. And then at your desk station, you've got your tablet, which we'll come back to, and I'll give you a tour of the tablet at the end of this video. You've got your cabin phone, your various plug points, including multiple USB points, which is great, and your literature that you get when you get on the ship. You've then got your lamp on your desk, which you can dim and turn off just using the button on top. Your water decanter here with your two glasses, and underneath, you've got your bin or your trash can, your stool, some open shelves, and then in here, you've got a fridge or a refrigerator. So if you would like to keep drinks cool or if you maybe travel with medical equipment that you need to keep cool, that's absolutely not going to be a problem in here. Over here, you'll find your storage in the cabin. Beginning first of all on the left hand side, you've got your open shelf at the top and then you've got your hanging space. Unfortunately, that is protected by this shower curtain-like curtain, which I really don't like. However, let's pick and choose our battles. Down below, you've got some open shelves with some baskets. And in here, you've got some closed storage. Now at the top, you've got two life jackets. You then go down, you've got some shelves, your safety deposit box, which is totally free of charge on a Virgin Cruise, your hairdryer, and then some drawers towards the bottom of the unit. And you've got a mirror on the door which closes to face in. Now over here you've got your air conditioning so you can either make that warmer or you can make that colder. I never found the air conditioning to be a problem at all on this cruise ship. And in here you've got your bathroom. Now if you've seen my other cabin tours you might be surprised to see that this bathroom is almost identical to what you'll see in other cabin grades. Perhaps the most surprising is that this bathroom is pretty much exactly the same as what I had in my solo insider cabin, which is in fact the cheapest cabin grade on the ship. So while the cabins themselves do differ across the grades, it looks as though the bathrooms remain largely the same. Now coming out of the bathroom, let me take you outside and show you the balcony. Now first up, you've got these two-tone curtains that go from pink at the top down to blue at the bottom, and yes, we have child locks in this cabin. I'm not sure why an adult-only cruise ship has child locks, but maybe that's a taste of things to come. Anyway, let's head outside and look at that view. The weather today when I was filming this was absolutely amazing. It was so warm out in the Caribbean, and I could just imagine relaxing on that hammock or relaxing with a coffee or a cocktail on one of those chairs and just watching the world go by. Anyway, let me take you back inside the cabin to give you one final look before we move on to look at a slightly different feature 
and that is the technology that's equipped throughout this room. Let me know down in the comments, would you cruise in here or would you rather go for a different cabin type? And while you're there, remember to click that like button and join me on my adventures on so many more ships by clicking subscribe. Now that our room tour is complete, it makes perfect sense to pause and look at some of the technology that this room is equipped with. Over here, you'll find your tablet computer, which as you can see with my demonstration here, controls the different lighting settings in the room. You can choose to make the lights brighter. You can choose to make them more dim. You can choose to turn some off, leave others on, and also, change the colours of all the lights in the cabin. It really is impressive. From this tablet, you can also open, or as you can see here, close the curtains. So that is particularly useful if, for example, you are in bed, you've got the tablet beside you, and you want to open the curtains to, for example, check the weather, or just look at the ocean. Why not? Without having to go to all the effort of getting up. Now, if you don't want to play with each of the different lights in the cabin, you can also set a mood for your room by scrolling through the preset options. I'll show you a couple of them now. This is the photo shoot setting. You can see that some of the lighting changes around the room. If you then click on Zen, it changes again. You can see the curtains are also closing. It would be very different if it was night time in here with some of the lighting. Here is the pumped up setting. So the curtains are opening again, the lights have got a little bit maybe more bright, a little bit more energetic. And then you've got the get it on function, which closes the curtains, changes the lights to a very bright red setting. And I'm not going to explore any more of that in this video. You're going to have to make up your own mind for what that setting is for. And once you're finished playing with the lights and setting the mood in your room, you can also control the television from this tablet. If I click down here, I'll be able to show you some of the movies and also some of the TV channels. So that's it, a full tour of a sea terrace cabin on Scarlet Lady. If you enjoyed this video today, did you know that you can become a member of my YouTube channel for an exclusive behind the scenes look at some of the ships that I'm traveling on? If you're over on Patreon, then I would love to see you over there. All you have to do to join me on that community is just search www.patreon.com forward slash Fraser at Sea. Both my YouTube memberships and my Patreon site lead directly to me getting on more cruise ships and both offer a completely behind the scenes look at what's going on.